It's that time again for your Battlefield sub plays. This time we have episode number 66. My name is Big Mooney, and by God, do we have some nice clips for you today. Last week we had a clear winner, and it was Tactics here, as you can see. Launched through the air on a quad bait, chuck C4 off of the quad bait onto an AC-130. That was insane. If you missed last week's episode, then there will be a link in the description, as well as a link to Tactics' channel. And uh, don't forget, you guys are going to be casting your votes for this week's winner in the comment section as well. But we're going to be sticking with Tactics here with our first clip of the week, and this time he is going to be flying a jet. Now, what tricks does he have up his sleeve this time? Well, as you can see, he's flying upwards here, jumps out, he has a crossbow. What are you going to do with that? Of course, you're going to take down an AC-130 with a crossbow and land back in your jet and take off into the sunset. That's ridiculous. How a crossbow takes down an AC-130, I will never know. By the way, nice clip. Our second clip this week comes from Notoriety, and he is playing on Grand Bazaar, has an AUG A3, comes up behind a bunch of enemies not paying attention to what's going on behind them, takes full advantage of this, taking two down straight away, third one needs a bit more persuasion, getting taken down with the M1911, picks up that guy's kit, mows down two more guys, good kit utilization here as he comes up behind this tank, two bits of C4, three bits of C4, boom, nice clip, well played. Bit of a longer clip here coming from Frostbite to Dice. He's playing Operation Metro, he also has an AUG A3, and uh, this time he is going to be using a silencer on there as well as the smoke grenade launcher. And uh, he's going to be smoking this place up, covering his movements here as he comes up behind this guy. He does mow him down here with this silenced AUG A3. Now that really does come into play in this clip, the fact that he has a silencer on there. He takes full advantage of using that silencer very effectively, and you will see what's about to happen in a minute. The notice that they're playing Operation Metro Conquest and uh, the team on the outside is stuck on the outside and not able to get in. And uh, Frostbite actually takes full advantage of this coming up behind these guys in the bus here. This guy takes a lot of bullets until he turns around very slowly. It's like a bus turning there, doing about a 15 point turn trying to turn around and see what's going on. He gets a face full of bullets as does his two friends that were stuck out beside that door there. Taking down another two people in very quick succession. He is racking up the points and it does not stop here. Coming up behind even more people here, this doorway, he's going to get a, just a shitload of kills and points and oh my god, the silencer, like I said, does come into play here. Very useful, coming up behind all these people here. And uh, one thing to note, you may realise, right, there's lots of people and they're being stupid around him, but he does not panic at all. He's, he stays very calm and collective and he goes about his business killing everyone around him very quickly and effectively before someone catches on to what's actually happening to all his teammates. He gets a lot of kill assists and stuff, a lot of points. Very nice clip and thank you for submitting. Now this next clip is a bit of a strange one here from Vlad QOQ or Vlad Cock, I don't know if that's what you want me to say but anyway. So what's happening here is he's flying off, just cruising across the sea, seeing what's going on to kill. How did he get that kill, you may be asking. What just happened? Well, I missed it first time I watched it too. But, watch when he spawns in. He lets off a missile right away. He must have been spamming the button to spawn. He let off a missile. It was in the air for quite a long time. And it killed someone way off in the distance. But we swiftly move on here to Wicknern. So, playing Nosh your canals, got an M40A5, and a bit of a situation here is eventually gets a shot off on that guy that was sort of dancing around each other. Runs out here, gets a second kill very quickly, followed by a third. Seeing anyone else around, okay, guy in the distance, there's a fourth, guy jumps down, there's a fifth, guy up top, there's a sixth, guy jumps down again, there's the seventh, guy jumps down again, gets a bit too cocky, gets killed. So our next one up here is just a little bonus clip here from 661st Platoon. And uh, he's just cruising, flying, chilling, doing as he does, trying to go and pick someone up, what's going on. Fly over here and uh, we're too busy. Been relaxed and there's a pole in front of us, my god, what's going on? Uh, flap that, dead, okay, wow, what the fuck. And we move on again this time to Colonel Buckwheat. Where are you playing this week, Colonel? Well, he is playing on Caspian Border, got himself a PP2000, I think. And uh, there's a couple of tanks, holy shit, get your C4 out and ready too on this tank. And followed by two on this tank here. And get the fuck away. Big explosion. How many people did you just kill? You got a shitload of points. And nice. Radiation media now. He's got himself an MG36. And uh, that guy gets stolen away from him. But these two people can eat all the bullets. Well, this one. Yeah, there you go. Eventually you fell over dead. So, 350 points. He's uh, in Operation Metro. He's going to flank around here. A couple guys not watching their back. They get a crossbow to the back. The second guy 
Uh, yeah, that was a bit of a fail, but uh, he's dead, doesn't really matter. Coming up behind another couple of guys here, crossbow to the back for you, and MG36 for you. So, continuing his run here, circling around, gonna come up behind a few more people, crossbow out because it's nice and silent. Get that guy right up the arse there, and uh, another guy trying to get away, and he also gets bullets there in the back. And uh, come up behind quite a few people here. He's just going to let rip with the MG36. Has to just back off here because they're actually going to try and pursue him. Gets away around the corner and expects him to come after him. Takes one guy, two guys, three guys. Boom. Gets killed. But nice clip. One of the fan favourites here, Granada de Fumasa. This time here, he's playing on Sharky Peninsula, and uh, he's just going to be cruising around, having a look. The round has just started, as you can see, as the tickets are full. As he comes down towards where they will be spawning, he sees the chopper just flying off way, way, way out in the distance. Now, that chopper is very, very far away. Now, you're already guessing what's going to happen. And uh, he missed his first shot, lines up his second, and look how far away it is, though. That's what's so good about this clip. Boom. Gets himself a ton of points and four kills to boot. Very nice shot Granada and uh, we move on. He submitted his first clip last week and now we've got the second clip here from Sonic Simon. Last week he used the minigun on Battlefield 3, this time he's playing Bad Company 2, playing Valparaiso Rush and uh, he's going to be an absolute pain in the ass for the defending team. Now, props to the pilot as well, it's him that really keeps them in the air throughout this clip here. As you see, the defenders, they get increasingly frustrated with the Blackhawk just flying around right above them and just mowing them down. And uh, as a result of this, lots of them crack out the RPGs. And uh, the pilot did a really good job of dodging them, you'll see that in a few seconds. So, so far he's only got a couple of kills, but things start to heat up very quickly. As I said, when you do get in one of these streaks where you're just above the enemy or you're right in amongst the enemy and you're really, really causing havoc and uh, getting yourself a lot of kills and stuff, they do eventually get a bit pissed off. I mean, they don't really enjoy dying all that often. And uh, this is a bit of an issue for them, so they decide, right, we need to get rid of this fucker in the air and then we can continue playing the game. Also, the fact that his team are all locked down up the hill for some odd reason uh, really does make all of the defending team focus on trying to take down this chopper here as he takes down another guy here. Someone gets on the 50 cal machine gun, the pilot just uh, raises his chopper way up in the air to try and get out of range of it and uh, Simon just mows them all down with the minigun. Now, uh, a lot of people bunching up at the moment, he's getting a few hit markers left, right and center. Uh, it's quite difficult sometimes when the chopper is moving to take down your targets effectively. But he does a very good job of this and he gets like, a lot of kills and I will tell you at the end of this clip how many kills he actually gets. Getting himself another headshot followed by another kill and another kill and another kill and another kill and another kill. He just kills a lot of people at this little point in the game. So, anyone else want a piece of him? And also, make just be, be sure to notice here. He's spamming the spot button. This is very, very good. I used to do this all the time. If you spam the spot button, people just show up that you may have not even seen in the first place with the little orange triangle, and you're able to just pop them that way. As you can see, two more people there just appeared on his radar as uh, as he was firing down that way, and what the fuck was going on with that quad bike there? It went in for a jihad bomb run on that guy. Guy down there being a bit of a nuisance, trying to get him under that that pier there and uh, of course the pier is made of bulletproof wood somehow so he wasn't able to actually get him but another guy was exposed out in the open here and he just takes the full flack of it but with 27 kills very nice clip so well done wasn't sure whether or not to have this one as an actual clip or a bonus but anyway we've got Thiek and what the fuck just happened if we slow this one down here for you you'll notice that he actually spins like five times or something before letting rip with one shot that kills someone that was Pretty ridiculous, yeah. But here we have an actual bonus clip for you from Notoriety. It was featured earlier on in the episode. But they're cruising around here on Karg Island and the attack chopper. They're getting away from some fire. Only 3% health left. And they just randomly die. Yeah, to the mortar. How the fuck did someone shoot them down with a mortar? They're in a chop. I don't understand. It doesn't make any sense. But anyway, next up we have Grandpa Bentley, and he has a Spaz 12 on Donya Fortress, gets one guy right away, followed by a quick revive of his teammate, and he's gonna go patrolling around looking for some more people to fill with holes. 
So taking cover behind the scaffold and capturing the flag here, shoots this guy right in his stupid face and uh, gets a few shells reloaded back into the shotgun. A few more enemies come streaming in this way and I think he killed the same guy again after he got revived and uh, kills his friend. Getting a nice point streak going at the moment, taking down another couple of guys, getting the flag cap and we move on. Coming down the stairs here, this guy gets a face full of whatever shells he's using, I don't really know, I think it might be slow because it's been quite long range, he's been getting people, but anyway, takes one guy down there with the Rex and uh, another guy there shot right in the temple with his bass 12. Get another revive in there as we go. One and a half thousand points and a little streak here. And uh, that's always good getting a nice point streak, but unfortunately no one runs at him in order to keep that point streak alive. But running back up here, he kills another guy there with a face full of shotgun shells. Or a shotgun buckshot or whatever the fuck it is he's using. But anyway, gets a triple kill there coming down behind this last guy here. Wipes him out as he was taking down some of the teammates. And I uh, guess another revive in with another 500 point streak going here. So, we've had quite a lot of points with this clip so far. But we're not we're not done yet. So moving up here, we see another guy running off into the distance. He's uh, gonna follow, gets shot in the back, and he's like, "No, we will not give up this chase." Takes him down there, and uh, one last guy as he also dies. Another clip I wasn't really sure about whether or not it was a bonus or an actual clip. But either way, you can judge for yourself. But have a listen because it's quite funny. Oh! 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 I especially love that last. <laughs> Alright, it's time for a white moose moment of the week. We're just going to sit back and let you guys enjoy what the moose has to offer. Alright guys, time for you to vote down in the comment section below, tell me the name of the person with the best clip of the show. Was it tactics again with this insane crossbow clip? Or notoriety on Grand Bazaar just demolishing fools? Frostbite to dice mopping up on Metro? Or was it Vlad with his very, very long range vapor kill? Wick Nairn just popping fools left, right and centre. Colonel Buckwheat with the massive explosion. Radiation Media with another crossbow clip on Metro. Granada de Fumasa, very long range RPG. Simone's 27 kill streak on Valparaiso. The EAK with a 900 no skill. Grandpa Bentley with a shotgun skills on Donya Fortress, or the Maverick with a 360 no scope jump thing. Cash your votes down below, tell me the name of the person you thought was the best, and we'll tell you next week. I'd like to thank you guys for watching once again, if you did enjoy, please don't forget to hit the like button down below and help support making these shows for you, and we can keep this going. But if you want to send your clips in, please send them in the Battlefield Top 5 plays at gmail.com. You can send in any Battlefield game and your funny bonus clips. It's very easy to send a clip in, just simply upload the video to YouTube, send a link to the email address I've just provided to you, and uh, I can get the clip straight off of YouTube. Very easy stuff. Lastly, if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you will never miss one of these top plays ever again. But uh, I also do a lot of other Battlefield content and stuff and things on there, and I would appreciate it if you stopped by. But until next time, I will see you later. Bye.